the Cuban woodpecker jammer returns. Many of you might recall that in July of 2021, in response to an anti-communist uprising in Cuba, civilian communications was censored, blocked, or herded into a couple of narrow methods of communications, especially with regard to the internet and social media. At the same time, another interesting thing noted was a strong jamming signal on the shortwave bands, what is commonly known as to ham operators as HF, or the high frequency bands. The signal was DF, that's direction finding, and it was concluded to be a jamming signal emitted by the Cuban government. This particular jamming signal is also known as the woodpecker and is particularly effective for preventing voice communications over the HF bands. An American patriot of Cuban descent, Alex, who is also a ham operator, W7HU, began covering that activity. You can check out that at amron.com in the posting from July 15th, 2021, titled Cuban Government Blocks Internet Jams Ham Radio Freaks. Well, the woodpecker is back, and we're not sure why. At around 20 hundred hours or 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, August 4th, Amron operators on the East Coast and especially the Southeast Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina area began reporting the distinctive electrical pulsing signal covering up a large portion of the 40 meter band from about 7 megahertz to about 7.120. Here is a recording of it provided by Papa Romeo 06 out of Georgia. And now you know what it sounds like. It's not some electrical local noise coming through your radio. It's not the fluorescent lights in your garage and it's not an inverter. That is the woodpecker jamming signal. As mentioned, it is most effective against voice communications and another reason why Amron places such emphasis on digital mode communications. In our evaluations during these woodpecker jamming sessions, Amron operators have tested digital mode communications on JS8 call and on FL Digi with great success. In our experience, we've successfully been able to pass text and files over HF with the jamming signal completely covering our signals having nominal effect and sometimes no effect on our ability to communicate. We're not sure why the Cuban government might be using these jamming signals at this same location on the band two years later. Uh, we found no reports of civil or political unrest happening in Cuba at this time. It could simply be for testing purposes or to mask some other activity, or perhaps it's related to China's most recent collaborative efforts with Cuba to establish signals intelligence operations, uh, we don't know. And in this would be a great opportunity to share with you what it sounds like so you can recognize it and share our results from testing while this particular jamming signal is present. Now, get your comms up. <laughs> 